But whilst in Barbados, I also want to find out about Ebenezer's wife, which is my great-grandmother, Constance Waldron. Um, I know that she was born in Barbados, but what about her family line? I wonder whether that's going to be interesting or not. This is the microfilm machine we're going to use, mm -hmm. um, and I'm going to make you do the work. Okay. Constance was born in Bridgetown in 1879. Ainsley's been told her parents were John Walrond and Irania Hunt. The first thing Ainsley searches for is Constance's parents' marriage certificate. I can't work that out. It's not very clear, is it? 1866, John Walrond. I can hardly read it. I think I need Pat. Pat? Yes? I think I need your help. I can't seem to work this out. Perhaps you can throw some light on it. Mm. Um, right, this isn't very clear, is it? This is the one you're looking for? Yes. Irania Hunt, who was aged 21 and a spinster, who married John Walrond, who was 20 and a bachelor and a tinsmith. She lived in Jessamy Lane. And what's this here? domestic policeman bit here? That... Ah, now, the, this is the, these are, the, these are the, um, the parents of John and of Irania. And John... Walrond's father was a domestic, and Arania's father was James E. Hunt, who was a policeman. And uh, being a policeman in those days, there wasn't many policemen, I would have thought. Well, the Barbados Police Force was um, formed after, after emancipation, because um, uh, prior to that, um, there'd been a different system for pe keeping um, enslaved people in order. So he was a policeman in 1845, which was very early. Mm. in the uh, police force. One of the early, earliest ones, because slavery was just over, what, about the same time? 30, 1838. Eight. Was he black or what? Well, um, this is interesting, because if he was a policeman, he was already free in time to get in the police force um, at a very early stage. So was he actually enslaved um, at the end of slavery? Oh, wow, this is... This, I, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> I knew there was something that was, something was going to come out of this. So Constance Walron's grandfather was James Hunt. James was a policeman only seven years after emancipation. Ainsley's now searching for James's baptism registration to see if he can discover anything about his parents. And we've got James, James Hunt. Hunt. Son of Rachel Hunt. Rachel Hunt, yes. Free Negro. So in 1813, your great-great-great-grandmother was a free Negro. In other words, she was not an enslaved person, although this was the period of slavery. Absolutely. Mm. And, of course, I've, I've just come from discovering on my grandmother's line that from the age of two, and that was in 1831, she was a slave. Right. She was a slave to John Davy. But from your Barbados connection, it seems that you come from a line of people who were free long before the end of slavery. It's completely new to me, this free Negro business. After Jamaica, I just assumed that all Negroes were slaves. Just to imagine that someone that you related to at that time to be a free Negro, why? Why was she free?